Hey everyone, Austin Air is back and we have yet another video. Now in this video, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be doing multiple drain and fills. We're basically flushing out the entire engine coolant system, also known as antifreeze, in this 2017 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Now, you may not know it, but you should be changing this every year. It's super easy to do, which is what we will show. Um, one issue is on these Gen 5 Explorers is that the water pump those can go out and if they do they are a pain in the butt because they are internal to the engine you have to rip the whole left side of the engine block off just to replace the water pump and then you have to do the timing chain and all of that so we're going to be getting out all the old stuff putting in new stuff and seeing how long we can pro uh, <clears throat> you know just keep this water pump going um hopefully we have no premature failures or anything like that knock on wood but we want to, again, get all the old stuff out and you're gonna see me do it and I'll explain the whole process. So if we are underneath the vehicle, again, looking to the passenger side, you'll see this little red, uh, this little red right down here, this little red peacock valve. You're going to have to open this and go this way with it so if you're turning it it's got to actually come this way so you'll if you push on the bottom this way it'll open to this way and if you open that and you have your pan down here it won't come out until you actually take off the reservoir cap so let's open this up and get it uh, open at top and get all this old stuff out. So we Uh, silicate build up in the colder months and plug the heater cores and possibly cause uh, a, a leak to happen so that's why they went from OAT to POAT <laughs> is done we're going to be using some pressed stone total colon system cleaner they come in a couple different bottles this was pretty cheap at walmart being honest um and what it does is basically it gets rid of all the gunk that could be up in there and it's important but use distilled water by using distilled water um there's no minerals there's no electrolytes nothing like that what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into a um, bucket we're going to mix it up just a little bit and then we're going to use a tool that i just bought that creates a perfect vacuum within a cooling system so first no press stones going in it almost looks a little bit like uh, like bleach Looks a little like bleach. It has that tint of yellow to it. We will also be replacing the thermostat while doing this. We will do this, we'll do that at the very end when the new coolant comes in though. And then we do our one gallon of distilled water. We may throw in just another one as well just to be safe
Okay. I'll be adding in probably one more things of distilled water. Uh, but next time, you'll see me over there. I picked this tool up for about 90 bucks on Amazon. Harbor Freight has one for 80 But if you're planning on keeping one of these to do maintenance regularly, I would go with this one. Uh, this is by OEM Tools. What this does basically is it creates a vacuum pressure within the colon system. It uses, I believe it's the Venturi effect. And what that does is basically the way this all works out is this will connect into this via quick disconnect. The compressor that you have, I have a small compressor here. What you'll do is you'll basically connect the compressor into here, it makes the air come out here. What it does is it creates basically a tunnel of vacuum pressure. So that way in a colon system, you can test to make sure that, um, you know, there's no leaks and stuff. And that way you don't have to sit here and keep bleeding this. And it comes with multiple adapters to basically um, fit any vehicle. So that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to show you once I get it figured out everything that we have set up so basically the way that this works is you have all of your adapters you have the the venturi effect adapter we can see here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my hand over the bottom of what would be the coolant this comes on up in sorry it's a little hard to do it one-handed <laughs> Okay, so what you'll see is when I put my hand over the bottom, it's creating a vacuum here within what would be the colon system, which is the palm of my hand. So that is what we are going to be doing. Okay, so we now have enough air. We have everything hooked up. What I did is I tightened the uh, reservoir, the peacock valve. So I'm going to connect this. I'm going to open this up. Now, we're going to open this up. And what we're going to do is when we do this, we're going to get the 15, then 20, then maybe try to do 25 to create a perfect vacuum effect. So, we did lose pressure, so that means that, I wonder if there was any overflow hose or something that isn't exactly tightened. Well, then let me make sure here. Maybe we need more air. One second. Okay, I have more air in the line now, so let's see if this helps it. There we go. Gonna get the 20 here. Okay. Now we hold it. That's what it was, guys. We needed more pressure. So, I think we are good. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. So, while doing this, this is closed now. This is closed. You see a little dash? It means that nothing can get through that. And then, what we have here is we have about 20 inches of pressure this thing hasn't moved at all 
go. This thing hasn't budged at all. We'll let it go for about another one to two minutes. And if it's all good, we will stick this into the solution. And what it will do is it will fill the entire system with it. And so what I'm doing now is putting this down and we're going to fill, fill that with this. So now the coolant system is being filled with the cleaning agent of Prestone. So as this comes on down here, Almost all full already. Look at that. Yep, and there she is. So what we're going to do is open that. are done with this one and we will purge the system and do it with some of the new stuff as well we will now let this run for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, with the heat on to make sure that it's able to hold pressure and that uh, it gets all that grime and everything out so let's start her up So now that the vehicle shut off, we're going to let it wait anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes, depending on how hot you let the vehicle get. For this one though, we're probably going to do it right around 30, 35 minutes. As soon as it's cool to the touch, then I'm going to be able to open up the reservoir, let any steam come out that may be there. You want to make sure it's cold. And then we're going to drain this again. We're going to examine and you're going to see what color it is when it comes out. Depending on that color, we're either A, going to uh, replace the thermostat and then redo another cleaning solution just so that way it's all mixed through, or we may go straight for the new coolant. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. So see you guys soon. What we will now do is slowly begin to open up the coolant system here. As you can hear, there was a little bit of pressure. We're just slowly opening it to relieve any pressure that there may be. And it is off. And as we can see in here, that it does look, eh, it looks fairly clean to me actually. I'll show you. It's a little hard to see here, but you can see on the right side of there, it looks fairly clear. I think that this may just have a little bit of an orange tinted stain to it. So what we will do now is drain the system entirely. What I'll do is I'll just put this just like so, just to keep anything out. And then we're going to replace the thermostat. <laughs> to change the thermostat I have the gasket for it here I have the gasket here for it and I also have a fail safe thermostat what this will do is it will lock into place in the event of an overheat so that way you will not blow your engine this is a very good idea for chase vehicles especially out in the Midwest, I'm going to take a size 8 millimeter. A 
again we get our mixture back again including another bottle of pressed down and another gallon of distilled water it's important to do this with the new thermostat to make sure that this gets off any uh, possible imperfections in the chemicals during shipment or anything like that now get disposed of and then we do our gallon of distilled water. This time we'll let it do a deep soak, just so that way it can really flow throughout the system. Look at that crystal clear water. Okay, and now we hook up the vacuum line. And so when we are utilizing the vacuum line, what we do is we take the nozzle portion, we stick that in the bucket we just made. We then take this. This will actually go down into, or at least should, go down into the uh, thing here. I believe what I may have to do is take off this, stick this down in. Yep, there you go. Just enough to let it grasp doesn't have to be perfect you just need it to seal up and around it so like this then what we do is we ensure all of our lines are closed we take our air compressor here mind you we already uh tightened the petcock down there okay let that flow and then we let that flow and what that does is We'll see a perfect vacuum here coming up. So now we need to add some more air is what it looks like. We have a little bit more air, so... Hello, hood! So we'll open this. And still nothing, so that means that somewhere we're not holding pressure. So this is why we do what we do and we test this. Just to make sure everything is correct. Gotta make sure that everything is here. Oh well. So we are holding some pressure, but I have a feeling it has something to do, possibly. Let me see. Make sure here that it's nothing. Petcock is closed, so Petcock's fine. We're holding that pressure, so something minuscule because we're only getting now 14 pounds of pressure instead of what it was and this is why we test what we test guys
Okay, so I believe I know what the issue is. So, I believe that we had some fluids still in the system from when I drained that, so. Yep, look in here, it looks like we may have some fluids still. I think it drained out of the system. So, now we drain that then. So what we are going to do is because there still is fluid in the system, we're actually going to, um, we're actually just going to open it up. We're going to fill it up and then we're going to recycle the system again and do it this way to make it a little bit easier on everyone. And I think it has something to do with opening up that upper radiator hose and, and, uh, you know doing what we were doing here so we'll do this we'll get it all equal leveled and uh hopefully that will fix it we currently have the engine on this is currently its second clean cycle this is the first time with a new thermostat um we didn't have as much pressure on it this time probably because it was hot previously and still had fluid in it so we're gonna let it run a good bit and uh, a message from our sponsors who am i kidding we ain't got no sponsors if you are a company or if you are a brand have a new item that you think may interest the channel may interest storm chasing as a whole um feel free to drop us a email down here um feel free to drop an email and we could definitely review it and see if it's something that you want either added to the chase vehicle for the season coming up here in 2025 possibly even 2024 uh hurricane season then definitely i we'd be more than glad to talk to you and see uh we're currently working on several possible sponsorships uh, i'm not going to get our hopes up but you know if you need dec a decal added to the vehicle um whatever it is product review feel free hit that email up uh currently we are just running the system right now uh we're gonna give it a good run i am also going to run and go grab i think they dropped it off the uh the new coolant i want to go over that with you guys so this is what we are putting in this is ford motorcraft yellow concentrate so little story in 2009 2010 ford came out with their specialty green motorcycle green is what uh people called it then they came out with orange orange is organic acid technology oat 2018 comes around they secretly come out with yellow concentrate they send a memo to all four dealerships saying hey if they have orange you can change it to yellow this is phosphate organic acid te technology what that does is that starts to help the silicates. So antifreeze has so many chemicals in it that they balance out and equal to create a good component compound for the engine and the coolant. So what happens is, is if you have the orange antifreeze for Ford in the winter time, in the winter time, cold temps can actually clog the heater cores, to blow them up. You'll have no heat, you'll have an air freeze leak, it's bad. So they came out with yellow. This stuff's kind of harder to get now because Ford did switch back to orange, but the memo still stands that yellow is definitely better for the colder temperatures like up here in Pennsylvania. So we are putting this in, and in addition, we're pulling a Homer Simpson. So I went with this because it kind of matches the little bit of the yellowness. Uh, I didn't want to put in dark blue or purple ice or anything like that. But this is Rizlon Hypercool. It actually has some pretty good reviews. I'm not using it for its cooling technology. I'm using it more for the corrosion protection. What this can do is this can start helping. It's kind of like uh, wetter water. And this helps lubricate the water pump, the, all of this stuff, the seals. And this also helps prevent corrosion, which is what that cleaner is doing right now is it's cleaning out and cleaning through the system. It looked fairly good. Um, 
you know, water-wise, but just want to play it safe. Always play it safe with your cola. So looking at this, I guess technically you're supposed to use six quarts of this uh, in the system here. But with everything that's left over in it as well, I'll have to follow up. I only have one gallon of this, which is four quarts. So we'll make the best of it. I'm not going to complain too much because, um, I mean, we do still have some stuff in the system. But uh, the more you know. Wow, look at that. That is like green and it's yellow but it looks almost like a very when the sun hits it it looks like i'm pouring radioactive juice that's insane this is the concentrate portion Okay, we then add in a one gallon here. Nice. And then we add in what looks very similar to it, our Rizlon. So, okay. It says that one barrel will treat 12 to 20 quart systems. Well, this is a 20 quart, I mean, this is a 12 quart, 12.4 to be exact. So, whole bottle. Oh man. That looks nice and healthy now. So yeah, I'm gonna stir this up, just make sure it's all mixed well. And once the system cools down over here, we're gonna drain, put this in, runner, and we should be good to go. Just look at that. It looks like a radioactive barrel that I just cracked open. We doing it. Let's see what we can get on the suction level here. Nice. Let's try to do a little more if we can. Okay. Looking good. Let's see if we can get the 25. I think we're good. Don't want to push it too much. But we're at 22. Holding. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. She's coming on in, guys. That's amazing. If we 
got, I can hear that bubble coming back up through. That is awesome. And that just sucked it all right in. That is great. There we go. We'll cut that off. Okay. I think that is all she wrote. I think we're good on this.